the president has, over the last week or two, I'm sorry, now the former president, Donald Trump, last week, spent a lot of time talking about forming a new party. Essentially, let the Republican establishment uh, have the GOP, and he will form a new party. The problem is forming a third party actually takes a lot of resources, and the president would have to devote a lot of his personal money to it. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, look at Ross Perot. Uh, Ross Perot formed the Reform Party, uh, which I think there are remnants of the Reform Party um, around now still. Let's see. If, well, check in Wikipedia. I know, I know, but still. Uh, the Reform Party of the United States of America, generally known as the Reform Party USA, is a political party founded in 1995 by Ross Perot. Uh, the party has nominated candidates over the years, including Pat Buchanan and Ralph Nader. Most significant victory came when Jerry Vin uh, Jesse Ventura won governor of Minnesota in 98, although he left the party in the midst of his term. Uh, it looks like it's... Oh, 6,666 people. Lots of... 6666, six, 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 according to Wikipedia. <laughs> um, in 2020... It looks like, um, who did they nominate in 2020? Rocky De La Fuente uh, and, and Darcy Richardson. Uh, I, 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 I got nothing. Um, and, oh, yeah, so I don't know who this Rocky De La Fuente person is. He's an American businessman, a perennial candidate. Uh, Self-created American Delta Party. Uh, uh, latched himself on to the uh, Reform Party, the Alliance Party, the American Independent Party. See, this is the problem. Uh, third parties in this country, it is very difficult. The Republicans and Democrats may disagree on everything, but they work very hard together on um, ballot access. So, for example, in many states, to get on uh, a ballot as a third party, you have to collect a percentage of signatures equal to the number of people in a congressional district. It has to be done by people, by county, of people who live in those counties, collecting signatures of people who live in those counties. can only be done at certain times on certain forms. It must be done certain ways. It is ridiculously difficult to do. Now, if anyone could do it, Donald Trump could do it, given the loyalty of his base of support. You'd have a lot of people out there doing signature collection, but then you would have Republican lawyers in particular ruthlessly picking apart uh, those signatures and casting down on those signatures. So, for example, uh, you get someone to sign up. You have to verify that the person who uh, did the signature collection was unpaid volunteer who lived in the county where the signatures were collected and that the person who signed it is actually a registered voter in that county. If they're not a registered voter in that county, well, then you got a problem. And that's how difficult it is. It is a huge burden to be able to start a third party in this country. And then you have to get a certain percentage of the vote to be able to get permanent ballot access. And so take the Reform Party, for example. The Reform Party does not have ballot access in every state. And that in and of itself becomes a problem. And then there's the high watermark for candidacies. I mean, I mean, take, for example, the presidency, the high watermark for the Reform Party came in 1996 when Ross Perot uh, got, what, 15%, 13 to 15% of the vote? It is very difficult to do. And it has to be sustained over time. And the history of third parties shows that a third party that is built on one man's cult of personality, the party tends to collapse thereafter. It happened with Ross Perot. Ross Perot built a cult of personality and built a party on it. And when Ross Perot stepped away, the party collapsed. It is very hard. The Reform Party maintains chapters in Texas, California, New Jersey, Florida, North Carolina, New York. That's it. So good luck trying to form a third party. On top of that, you'll have the Republican Party out to get you. Yeah, you may even have the Democratic Party in some cases out to get you, although I would suspect the Democrats would help you. 
just because the Democrats would want to hurt the Republicans. And then there's the cable news network aspect of it. Uh, what about starting a cable news network? Well, you don't want to buy into OAN because they're about to go bankrupt when Dominion Voter Services uh, sues them. OAN is scrubbing its website of any story about Dominion Voter Systems. I'll get into this in a little bit. Uh, and they're going to get sued, so you don't want them. Newsmax may get sued, but that's Chris Ruddy, so you're not going to... Uh, Chris Ruddy, I'm sure, would all love for the president to be there. I'm sure Fox News would love to give the president a show. A, a, a loyal boost there, but if the president wants the Trump network, how is he going to get cable access? Comcast does not have to allow the Trump news network access to their cable lines. You, you, if you're cable news network, you don't have to put them on. So uh, Cox Communications is my internet service provider. You got AT&T. AT&T owns CNN. Why would AT&T want to give the Trump news network uh, a platform on AT&T's uh, internet broadband so that they can attack CNN. They've already got a, they've already got Fox News. It's well established. Uh, what about uh, let's see Charter? Maybe Charter would do it. I, I doubt it. See, this is the problem. Cable access. So you start as a streaming service. You've got to grow as a streaming service, and then maybe you'll get the Dish Network to put you on on their satellite. Dish Network tends to go first with a lot of this stuff. Well, then if you can get traction there, then maybe Directv through AT and T will put you on. Maybe. But it takes time, it takes money, it takes resources. And your first five years are money-losing years because you're paying a lot of talent and you're marketing the hell out of your station so that people know they got to get a streaming service. And then will Apple let it on the Apple TV? Will Roku let it on the Roku? All these sorts of things. And so you spend five, six years losing money. Fox News was a money-losing venture for News Corp for years before it took off. You got to commit time. You got to commit money. Does the president want to commit time and money to building a party? Does he want to commit time and money to building a news network? Or does he just want to show? 